Hi, good afternoon. Uh, first, apologies. It's very difficult to sound uh, normal after so many years without uh, publishing anything or doing any video. Just to let you know, I am planning to go to Chofu tomorrow, which is the birthplace of Confucius. Then um, just uh, let's see how does it work. I will put uh, my video then. Just to say, it's only half seven in the morning and there is already plenty of people in the uh, tube station. Um, it's lovely to see so many people up. Just noticing the tube stations are really very, very safe. In here in China, there are lots of uh, um, officers all over the places. And uh, uh, you may see one right now behind me. And uh, you, um, you have to pass through a um, detector, your bag as well. And it's really very, very safe for a woman to, who travels alone. I want to take advantage of this video to read the vows I made when I started this YouTube channel. The first one is, I intend to show that unlike math, history is everywhere around us. From the way we think to the way we got dressed, all human being is constructed and conducted on history. The second one is contributing to bringing a solution to the problem reason by some scholarships as Umberto Eco did in his book, How to Write a Thesis. Research is expensive and unfortunately, not everybody can afford that. Ramon Soriano, in his book, Como se escribe una tesis, highlights the problem that many researchers have to face, which is the fact of working while working many times as teaching, as teachers, while achieving research. In my case, I have to say I love teaching in the university and I love doing research. Very grateful to my university for this opportunity. And because opportunities brought me to China and life is a journey, as the say goes, I, that brings me to the third intention of this channel and already expressed when I was working on the Ludlow Castle video. As Antonia Fraser mentions uh, in the introduction of her second edition of Mary, Queen of Scots, the need of visual research is necessary to figure out not just emotions and sensations, but the extent of our past, what was the extent of our research topic, and that can also help us to our understanding. Finally, I have arrived and I want to check uh, to tell you all I think I've been one of the best uh, trains ever that I did not film because I wanted to, um, to read and um, yes, I was, uh, the chairs, they were very comfortable I took a picture for you to see the, um, we, I saw a cleaning lady cleaning the corridor which was great, I did love that. Two men checking for our security, one of them he even checked, um, he even noticed one of the bad bags, bad bags were not put properly in the, um, in the back shelf and asked the person to uh, take a bottle, empty water of bottle that was about to fall and uh, apart from those two, I saw also a lady selling crisps, which is something I, in 30 minutes um, project, is something we never see in Europe. And in fact, I, I want to say that because many times when you are in Europe and you see films on videos on YouTube about uh, people traveling in um, East area in India, and when you see them on the train, you think, Oh my goodness me, the experience might be horrible having animals in the train, having people showing their feet, maybe dirty feet in the train. 
I saw nothing of that in, in this frame. Then I am really very, the experience has been very good and I highly recommend the trains. At least this one that goes uh, Beijing to Shofu, then I really highly recommend this train to everybody. Finally, I'm having a rest while I wait for another tea, another jasmine tea this time. I love jasmine tea. I did not. I think it's the only tea I like, um, and I don't have uh, many opportunities to drink jasmine tea back in Europe. I'm taking all my chances in here in China, but that is not part of the video for me to speak about the tea. I want to talk about Confucius. In fact, one of the reasons that I made me come to Shandong was just to Confucius. Uh, when I started my PhD, it was a theory that said that Confucius went to the New World before the Spanish conquered. And I tried to find things about him in, um, in Europe, but it was totally difficult. Um, it was impossible, in fact. Then, uh, now I can say, I don't think this theory uh, became um, with proper research work uh, because it's impossible. I mean, I have, been, I have been reading about Confucius now and he never left China. In none of the documents I have none of the documents I have had in my hands show any, uh, any trip from Confucius outside China. However, when Confucius he divided society um, into in, in different kind of peoples and two of them they were called humanists and gentlemen. We in Renaissance we have this kind of attitude and uh, we have a full philosophical um, thinking to say like this about uh, um, humanistic um, approach of things and the new uh, religions they were called uh, the gentlemen then it's very very interesting to see that although confucius never left china his way of seeing society did, and that is something I uh, I am exploring now. Fine, I don't know if you are able to see how beautiful is this area. Here we've got a kind of tower, like the towers of London, right? Um, I was told not to do the museum and the temple by foot because it's very far but it's worth doing it. it worth, it's worth doing it because the city is really very clean, it's uh, lovely, I've got a, it's not too hot, um, it's really very beautiful place to walk. I don't know if you are able to see the river and all that comes, the walk which is nearby to the river. And uh, yes, I like a lot, there are like two towers, uh, I am just going under one. There are two towers. I don't know if you can see them properly, but it's like um, the towers of London Bridge. Kind of London Bridge is falling down. Here I have got one. And I'm just under the second one. Don't know if you are able to see. Anyway, I highly recommend this walk in Chofu to everybody because China is absolute, or at least the areas of China I am visiting are absolutely not as in Europe we think is China. Then yes, I highly recommend coming here. See you! Find them. I'm trying to find the place of birth of Confucius. But uh, although I'm following the steps of uh, Bing Map, I think it's not accurate the map, then I am feeling lost, I'm tired, 
and show um, another exhibition of Confucius that seems to be in this garden, but I'm not sure if it's about Confucius or someone else. This is what happens when you end tired.